2018 Volkswagen Golf GTI and our first drive, hustle and flow. The Golf has always been fun to drive, now the interior's fun too. The Volkswagen Golf has always been fun to hustle around back roads, from the first hatch that came out in 1974 to the current MK7 that debuted in 2012. For 2018, the latest gen gets a hearty refresh, and we got to drive all the good stuff on a chilly day in the one part of southeast Michigan that features some rolling rising and running European style back roads. The problem with the Golf lineup is that it skated on its fun to hustle reputation for too long. When all other manufacturers were using USB ports and touch screens, VWs were still rocking auxiliary inputs and plastic buttons. But with the 2018 model, all of that has been remedied. Big, high resolution screens, digital cockpits, VW can call its new gauge cluster setup that shows navigation, radio and tech functions of virtual cockpit because that Audi thing. It also can call its DDC with adaptive damping dynamic chassis control because that also Audi thing. They share platforms, but not names. What else is new? Lots of stuff. The 292 horsepower, 280 lbft Golf R gets a new 7-speed DSG transmission. There are new LED headlights unique to the Golf family, a revised front and rear end, a stop-start system with the DSG, pedestrian monitoring, and all Golfs get VW sorry for the diesel thing warranty, which is 6 years slash 72,000 miles, bumper to bumper. The GTI gets 10 more HP across the board on premium fuel, for a total of 220 horsepower and 258 lbft from its turbocharged 2.0 liter. Those new LED lights are standard on SE and Autobahn trims. All get larger screens, SE models get a standard sunroof, forward collision warning and emergency braking with pedestrian monitoring. Autobahn versions add park distance control, parking steering assist, lane departure warning and high beam control, as well as the warranty.